Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how we can create the trunk in layer 2 switch. So example, I have two layer 2 switch. Let me give you one scenario. I have this two layer 2 switch. Okay. And this one is connected with the link. Okay. You can take two link or one link. No issue. Now we will take two and imagine you have some machine here and some machines are here okay and now you need to make the trunk between the switch so how we can make the trunk if you want to make some interface as a trunk then how we can make that one we are going to learn that one now so this is our topology and here we can give any ip let me go to this machine i will assign the ip here 192.168.1.1 and the gateway we don't have because we are using the switch only we are not using the router and this side we will have 192.168 1.2 and let me assign here 192.168 1.3 ok and here I will go here I assign the 3 so I am going to this PC I am going to assign here 4 so I will do here 192.168 1.4 okay now this pc can communicate because all are in the vlan one so no issue it will work if i ping here 192.168.1.4 or 3 it will work this pc is having the three okay this pc is having the three they will work no issue because they are in the same vlan but imagine if we have different vlan then we should create the trunk we should make this port as a trunk if we did not make this port as a trunk then it will not work okay if we did not make this port as a trunk then it will not work now all in all the pc are in the vlan one that's why it is working when you move this pc in some different vlan then it will not work so now what we are going to learn we are going to learn how we can configure this interface as a trunk in layer 2 switch so this is simple command i will show you here in our next class we are going to learn how we can create the vlan what we can do that all stuff now just i am going to do the simple configuration here first i will change the host name as switch 8 this is a switch 8 and after that i can see here what interface i have i have interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 and 0 by 2 so i need to make these two interface as a trunks so i am using this is a catalyst switch normal switch normal operating system this is not a nexus switch if you are using nexus switch no need to write the range command directly you can do but i am not using the nexus i am using the catalyst switch so i need to use the keyword as range okay so i need to use the keyword as range then i need to put what interface i want to select so i want to select this two interface so i write here fast ethernet 0 by 1 dash 2 so i selected two interface now i need to write here switch port mode trunk okay this single command is going to do the trunk configuration after that if you want to check you can go here you can write show interface trunk with this one you can see i have the trunk i make this two interface as a trunk i make this two interface as a trunk if you see this is a on manually we configure and if you see by using 802.1q trunking protocol status is trunking so i done this configuration in the switch 8 now i need to do in the switch 9 automatically it will work in switch 9 the port will become trunk but cisco recommend to change that one if you want i will show you first of all show interface trunk you will have the trunk here by auto so automatically they bring there we configure manually here here automatically we have so static trunk we configure here dynamic trunk automatically become why they become because dtp is used to make the trunks if you see this is a auto and using 802.1q trunking encapsulation so now as per the cisco they are asking better do the manual configuration so what i will do same thing i will do here i will go in the global configuration mode i will write interface range what is the interface if you see fast ethernet 0 by 1 0 by 2 so i will write fast ethernet 0 by 1 dash 2 then i will write here switch port mode trunk okay that's all so this way we can make the interface as a trunk if you see i will write show interface trunk and you can see i make the interface as a trunk you can see here 
okay you can see this interface become as a trunk now we can save the configuration now if you create any vlan anything that vlan is going to pass if you see this color this umbert color this port is blocked because stp blocked this one i hope you remember before we discuss the stp stp is a spanning tree spanning tree protocol which is used to remove the loop from in the network if you see maybe frame will go like this and it will come back again like this so we will have the loop in the network that's why stp block stp disable stp block this port so frame will not come back so we can say this is a redundant link redundancy we done we have the redundancy here because we keep two link if this above link go down we will have the other link the other link will start working so we can say we have the redundancy in this network okay that's why it is in block so what we learn here we need to write a single command go under that interface which interface you want to make as a trunk write switch port mode trunk okay switch port mode trunk that's all this is a command we are using to do the trunk configuration between the two switches okay so i hope it is clear in case if you face any issue let us know okay thank you